Breaking news. Court document reveals how Loretta Onoche declares membership of APC under oath. Hello, my wonderful people. We know that this woman is an aide to President Muhammad Buhari. Aside the fact that given her call of duty to be Buhari's aide, she's not eligible by being in that, the, the virtue of her being in that position because of what we call conflict of interest to assume the position of INEC commissioner. Now, Buhari has tried again and again to make Loretta an INEC commissioner. Now, for you to be an INEC commissioner, these are people that are party neutral. What that means is you are neither an APC, PDP, or any other party named in the country. You are supposed to be politically neutral. That is what that is supposed to be the premise of it. However, we find out again and again that powers, ruling powers, take advantage of INEC officials to do their bidding, declaring them winners, they are members of their party winners in states that they feel they want, you know, they, they need to hold so that they can hold majority and hold Nigeria in captivity. Again, this woman, like we said, you know, she's supposed to be politically neutral for her to qualify to contest for such a position. However, court documents, because when these things are done, there is documentation, reveals that she took a membership oath with APC. Yet, this is the person, Muhammadu Buhari, wants to make INEC commissioner. What that means, out of the 36 states of the Federation, you will find that maybe only one or two states will be held by other parties, which will give APC landslide victory from presidency down the rank if Nigeria remains as one. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. Thank you. Court documents reveals how Loretta Onoche declares membership of APC on the roads. Onochi, a personal assistant to the president on social media, was nominated by the president, Muhammad Buhari, as a national commissioner of the Independent National Electoral Commission. But many Nigerians, including civil society organizations, are insisting that the National Assembly should not confirm her. In papers she filed in a liberal suit before a high judge in the federal capital territory, Abuja, Onoche confirmed that she was actively involved in politics. She also said she's a volunteer at the Buhari Support Organization, a political think tank that happened in coordinating Buhari's election campaign in the 2015 and 2019 elections. In the suits mark CV slash 852 slash 16, Onochi swore 1 billion in damage against one Emeka. She accused the defendant of def def defaming her, defamatory and defaming her when he referred to her as a trafficker of young girls for international prostitution in a Facebook post made on January 21st, 2016. I am also engaged in active politics and a member of a neighborhood watch and has also contested the local government election under the Conservative Party in the United Kingdom, she said, while declaring that the words used in that Facebook post she, which she produced in the suit was bought her reputation to public ridicule and demand her reputation. I am also a member of the All Progressive Congress and a volunteer at the Buhari Support Group, Anochi added. The presidential aide further maintained that she is an educationist who has served as head mistress of anti-Margaret International School Calabar and principal of Holy Child Secondary School Calabar. She also said she has worked as the Forest College Excess United Kingdom. According to Prime Times, the suit was amended and filed on March the 8th, 2017. She adopted had her claim during the cross-sex examination by the court in 2020. Onoche was nominated alongside five other persons as INEC National Commissioner in October 2020. Senate President Ahmed Lawa earlier this year de 
directed Senate committee on INEC to commence the process, which will lead to Nechi confirmation despite stiff opposition from the People Democratic Party and civil society over her involvement in peasant politics. In appointing the National Commissioner of INEC Section 154, subsection 3 of the 1999 Constitution stipulated that the President should cons constitute with the Council of States. In addition, page Paragraph B of page 1 of the, of the third scheduled provision that the Council of States should have the power to advise the President in the excesses of power to, with respect to subsection 4 of the Independent National Electoral Commission, including the appointment of members of the Commission. The Constitution further stated that present to the provision of the Section 154, Subsection 1, the appointment of members of the Independent National Electoral Commission shall be subject to confirmation by the Senate. Paragraph 4, 14 of page 1 by the third scheduled as amended by Section 30, Act Number 1 of 2010, clearly states that a member of Independent National Electoral Commission should be non-party compliant. So what is going on? This woman belongs to a party, yet they want to force her into politics at all costs, at all means. It ought not to be so. What is going to be happening is going to be conflict of interest. Yes, she will begin to confirm everyone, Muhammad Buhari, tells her to confirm. Will this work well for the country? The answer is no. This is not what it ought to be. This is not the politics that Nigeria envisage if the country remains as one. These are some of the reasons why so many people are calling for section and want out. Do you blame them? I will put it to you. The answer is no. What is going on in this country is a clear indication that there are violations of rights, human rights, truth, justice. Somebody like her, on no cause, no reason, should she be even be nominated. She's an aide to Buhari. She has already an interest. Already, she wants to be a PDP, uh, APC person. She will do everything and anything to ensure that APC rule, just like everybody is after what, you know, pertains to them. It's the same thing. So it's, unless we're deceiving ourselves or we don't want to tell ourselves the truth, Leave us a comment we'd like to hear from you. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe, click on the notification button so we all can get the latest news together. God bless you. Bye for now.